hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making dole and if you don't know what dole is don't worry i'm going to teach you all about it today first of all look at how good then dole looks just ooh, look ooh, look at how green it is have you ever seen dole this green nope nope don't even lie to yourself <laughs> So Ndole is bitter leaf that has been washed on so it's not bitter anymore. Mind you the Ndole has already been washed but I'm just being extra, I'm washing it again. And right here I just put a little bit of baking powder in the water. Then I added the Ndole and I'm just like washing it and I'm also like cooking it so it can get softer. And after cooking it to make sure it's softer you're just going to wash it and squeeze all of the water out of it. Our second main ingredient is granuts, also known as peanuts. If you go to the store, it's going to look just like this. I didn't have to do anything special with it. And I'm just washing it to boil it. You have to boil it until it's done. And then after that, you're going to blend it. You can add your other ingredients in the peanuts before blending. I added ginger, garlic, and scotch bonnet, which is also pepper. And then I blended everything together. For the meat, I'll be using cow leg and also beef. The cow leg takes a very very long time to get done so just make sure you're patient with it. And also make sure you season it and constantly check it. Mine took about an hour and 30 minutes to get done and after it's done you can go ahead and cook your beef. And these are all the ingredients. In a pot, we're going to add our blended granules and then let it boil for about 5 minutes and then we're going to add our ndole, the washed one that we squeezed. And then after that, we're just going to add our maggi cubes, salt and our seasoning. We're going to add some of the meat stock in the ndole so that it'll be easier for us to mix it around and then we're also going to add our boiled meat. That is the cow food and also the beef. Then we're just going to stir everything together. There's so much meat in this ndole, I can't even stir. Just look, it can, it's not even moving. That's how you know this ndole will be so good. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I always use canola oil for whatever I cook because I just love it. Anyways, in a separate pot or frying pan, you're just going to be frying onions in it. I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't added oil yet in the ndole. So this is the oil that we're going to be adding in the ndole. And if you don't eat onions, then I believe you can skip the onions frying part. And after you've finished adding your oil, you're just going to add crayfish. I'm not using much, I'm just putting a little bit for flavor. And let me tell you, this crayfish gives it this amazing finishing taste. So make sure you add it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be adding everything that I use in the description box. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and also share this video. Thanks again. Love you guys. Bye.